Westy. You better pick Hazel. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron added Ball. another highlight to his resume last night with the game-winning jumper in overtime against the T-Wolves. It's the fifth game-winning buzzer beater in LeBron's career with three of those coming in the playoffs. Shannon, how would you rank LeBron's late game clutchness? I think he's great. And see, we get so caught up that if the guy doesn't make the shot, well, he's not clutch. Or unless it's a walk-off, it's not clutch. Uh, LeBron has made 17 game-winning, 17 ga uh, game-time shots, but he also has seven assists. So not only did he make the shot 17 times, he's assisted on another seven. So in other words, LeBron is going to make the right play. It's never the wrong decision to make the right play. You see, teams could, they knew Kobe. They could force Kobe's hand. They knew he would take a bad shot. He's not giving the ball up. LeBron, you can't do that. You collapse him. He has no problem trusting his teammates. That's what he has them for. That's why he plays a team sport. You want to do it by yourself, you go into golf, go into tennis, you do it by yourself. But when you play team sports, you got to be willing to trust your teammates. Mm. You know, Skip, you remember when Michael Jordan had just come back, he dropped that double nickel on the garden. Who made the game winning shot, Skip? Will Purdue on a dunk on a pass from Michael Jordan. Where did Will Purdue go to college? Vanderbilt University. Man, stop it. I can't talk about no a Vanderbilt. basketball factory. You know what, Skip? See? <laughs> well, you deserve you, that. You we, asked for it. We're having a great conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about LeBron's class. Vanderbilt, let it go. And then you talk about. <laughs> and, go and doors. The, there's nobody in the NBA I'd rather have with 10 seconds, five seconds left in, in, in the game than LeBron because I know he's going to make the right play. See, Skip, I don't base whether or not it was the right play on the end result. Okay. Because, see, it's a make or miss league. league. And if all you do is look at, oh, man, see? No, that's not how you do it, Skip. That's not how you evaluate it. Did he make the right play? If he made the right play mm -hmm. and the ball doesn't go in, you live with those results. So I can live whatever LeBron decides to do. If he decides to shoot it, I can live with it. If he decides to pass it, I can live with it. I'm just saying the greatest corner three-point shooter is Kyle Korver. Drain three. Made him a shot. Kyle Corbett's made that shot so many times. Look at the shot that he's making last night. Mm. He missed it. Mm. I'm cool with that. Mm. But LeBron Jackson, but see, but we keep moving the line, Joe. At first, it was a game winner. If he hit the shot and five seconds left in the game and the other team didn't uh, uh, make it, okay, it was a game winner. Mm -hmm. Now it's got to be a walk-off. Now, we've seen LeBron make some shots with one tick left or two ticks left. Now, the NBA says you can't get a shot off with less than three tenths, but that's not a walk-off. LeBron got a lot of those hit one of them last year against the Nets, but it was uh, point one left. Skip, you need to stop this. I see what you're trying to do. Uh, LeBron is George, clutch. Have I said a word? No, you ain't said it. I haven't even said a word. We strive you know, put for words greatness. in my mouth. We striving for greatness. <laughs> and we are great. Strive for greatness. And you congratulate yourself on going over whatever it was. 30,000. 30,000 points even 30. before you do it. And so he we, congratulated himself on the uh, bucket. Yeah, he's the king again. Yeah. yeah. That's what we got social media for. People need to know what we're doing at all times. So we let them know. So. I have said many, 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 maybe too many times on national television, LeBron, certainly in comparison to Michael Jeffrey Jordan, has no clutch gene. And I don't love LeBron with the ball in his hands in late game situations because, to your point, making the right play is the right choice for an average player. But I don't consider LeBron an average player. I consider him Really great, all-time great. I don't think he's the best player right now, but he's had many years where he's been the best player on the planet. I think Kevin Durant's a little better last night. LeBron had an all-time great overtime last night. I don't take that away, but let's not be prisoners of the moment because the previous 19 games were disastrous for LeBron James. So, Have you seen KD now? The last second mm -hmm. game? Maybe have okay. Hard time. Okay. okay. So, but he was the MVP of the NBA. We did that three times. Yeah. Okay. That's well, we're talking about right now. Been there, done that. So, LeBron James, on walk-off shots in his career, is five for thirty-five. That's fourteen point three percent. And my issue with him from the start has been his issue was shooting walk-off free throws. He just, for, for a guy this great, you just got to be a better free throw shooter. And obviously, he's a career, what is it, 74% yeah. free throw shooter. Now he's fallen off for the year back to 74%. He'll wind up somewhere in there. I know we had this bet on 80, and I would love to see him shoot 80, but it's just, I, I don't know. He doesn't have, he, he changes his motion and his routine constantly. It drives me nuts to watch it because it, it's like tormenting to watch him try to figure out how to shoot free throws. 
Kyle Korver's tried to help him. Everybody's tried to help him. He just doesn't have that. And all the great players are 80 or all the way up to 90% free throw shooters. He's left thousands of points on the table because of missed free throws. So the game that sticks in my craw was the one, and, and we'll get to the, the great shots that he's made, the walk or the five walk-offs, but there was a game, you may remember, I was actually on vacation in Puerto Rico at this point on a Sunday afternoon. It's a national game on ABC in his LeBron's first year back in Cleveland in 2015, and they're playing the Rockets at the Rockets, James Harden and company at that point. Mm -hmm. And it, gets, it goes right to the wire, and LeBron has two free throws to tie and win the game. And if we could see those, I think we have the Houston free throws. Here we go. This is LeBron, and this is late and clutch, and you've got to make them, and he missed the first one. Now you at least got to make one to tie because you could do two to win. And no, he missed that one really sadly and badly. And it gets in his head. He's got the free throw demons. So he is going to shy from the free throw line in many of these situations. So which of the walk-offs, the five walk-offs, did I love the most? Remember the one against Indiana? That was in game one of the conference finals in 2013 with the Heat. Remember when he blew by Paul George, George who yes. overplayed the play on yes. the inbounds pass? Yes. And LeBron just says, thank you very much, boom. And he just blows right by, ends up shooting a left-handed layup. Yes. Nobody can keep LeBron James from the glass. He can get to the basket. He what, what Skip, okay. he overplayed it. Paul George overplayed him and left the backside, so that's why he went. Okay. Because if Paul to play straight up, he's going to pull up with that jump in his, okay. in his eye. All right, but to me... Paul George can't keep LeBron from the basket. And for sure he can't keep him from the basket with the clock winding down to zero without fouling him. And most of the time, LeBron is going to get that call. And we could go back and forth, will he or won't he? I, I don't know. I don't know. But I think it got in LeBron's head because from the free throw line in his career, in these, these last five second situations, he's 8 of 14. That's 57%. Only one of those free throw attempts ever came in the last five seconds of a playoff game. So all these playoff games LeBron has played, he has run from the, or shied from the free throw line. He just doesn't want to do that because it's not his forte. And plus, Skip, you got to also understand he's five for 35. You do know that sometimes in these moments, mm -hmm. guys are taking 30 footers. Guys are taking 25 footers. Sometimes. Off balance. Remember the three that he hit and descended in the overtime against Washington? Yep. I mean, think about okay. that, the, the, mm -hmm. the Degree of difficulty okay. of that shot. Yeah. You remember that. It, it, well, you, you're talking about a playoff shot? No, it was regular season. You know what? It, you remember he missed the bunny layup? Okay, but but he actually, that was the accidental bank but, shot? Yeah, right there, right there. Right there. But, but it banks. Bam! Do you think he aimed at the yeah. bank? He did not. Give the man it's worth $500 million. Shot. You don't think he got money in the it's, bank? It's a luck shot. A bank He's, never. He, he made it by accident. Skip. When you, when Nobody you, tries to bank that shot. When you got that kind, when you got that kind of bread, Skip, okay. they need to bank The bank is open. Okay. Yeah, right, in 2014. Right. Okay. Do you remember this shot, Skip, right here, the one he hit on the Warriors? Mm. Look at that, Skip. Right. That's the bank shot. That's the show, bank. Him the, show him the other one. He need to get that step back against the Warriors in 2014. Which one is there it? There it is, right here. Right here. Oh, you know, I got that on my list because I count that as one. Or, I, I give you that. I was watching the game. I went crazy. That's what we say, kiss the baby. That, that, was, that was as great a walk-off as he ever hit. You know what I'm saying, Joy? Yeah. You know, your nieces, you know how you kiss them and put them to bed. Mm -hmm. O'Brien, O'Brien, That was Iguodala. February 12th. It was the game before the All-Star break. Mm -hmm. And Golden State wasn't yet Golden State. But that was See? Iguodala. That's, you don't change, you don't change, you don't change no. the criteria again. No, I'm just saying they, they weren't. The, the team yet they were on the rise so 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 i just want to make sure i, I got to hit this correctly now so the team needs to be really really no, good i'm just saying i'm just saying it wasn't like they were golden state yet because they weren't so it, okay but i already put it i got it right here i put it on my list i'm going to give you this as a sixth walk-off shot because i love that shot because it's point one second that counts that's a walk-off okay. shot and again, you you're, you're, the, you're down, the... you're down two, yeah. and you could have driven on Iguodala because yeah. it looked the oh, floor looks open on the left side. I don't want that. Uh, but but to, to it's make a trap. to have to make two free throws to tie the game, there's no way he's going to it's try that. Skip, don't you know Braun realized when uh, when uh, uh, Iggy now why would Iggy ever open a door like that? Mm -hmm. That's what you got to understand, Skip. It's a trap door. Mm. He knows that Iggy's up. Got he got help coming. Okay. So LeBron beat him to the punch. Hey. So Take this with you. the other two had different circumstances. The one that beat Chicago, they're down two games, wasn't it, two, two games one. to one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But LeBron got angry with David Blatt. It was the end of David Blatt, yeah, effectively, because yeah. he calls a play for Kyrie. And he wants LeBron to end down the ball to Kyrie. And LeBron said, no. He said, no. in other words, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, exactly. you can take that and yeah. do something with it. And LeBron shot it angry, and he made it. It wasn't a three, but it didn't need to be a three. And he won the game. Yeah. And then the other one was the shot heard around the world, game two against Orlando. Mm -hmm. But it's classic. It's where LeBron is at his best because you catch it and shoot it. You don't have a choice to do anything else. Yeah. You don't have to make a decision about drive it or pull up. You just got to pull up. The thing is, the decision is he's making it that, that we don't see is that he's processing in his head. Yep. How am I going to get to my spot? Mm -hmm. And his spot is, is that step back. To his left. His best spot is at the rim. If he get to that at spot, the Joy. Mm. Mm. Would it, Lion King, would you hold him up? You got him back. Oh. Rafiki, is a she now? Woo, skip. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the Eagles get back to the, the Super Bowl next year. Oh. We'll discuss that with Mark Schlereth next.